Hi guys, it's Miss Ainsley. Today we're going to read another book that fits with our camping theme. And it features one of our favorite characters, Pete the Cat. This book is called Pete the Cat Goes Camping by James Dean. We can see Pete on the cover with his hiking boots and his backpack and maybe a sleeping bag rolled up there. And he's heading for the trail. <gasps> what is this? I see little eyes in the bushes. Who do you think that could be? I don't know. Let's read to find out. All right, Pete the Cat Goes Camping. Pete is excited to go camping. This is his first time. We can see him helping pack the car with cat food and the backpacks, a lantern and a fishing pole and a flashlight, all things you need when you go camping. Don't forget your sleeping bag, says dad. Or your hiking boots, mom says. The campsite is deep in the woods. Mom and Dad set up the tent. Here's Dad using a hammer to put the stakes in the ground. That helps the tent stay in place. Pete and Bob help collect sticks so they can make a fire later. Pete and Bob go for a hike. Bob shows Pete the footprints of different animals. Look, do you see the footprints down here? What animal do you think that could be? Hmm. Do you think we'll, we will see anything cool? Asks Pete. Hmm, maybe, says Bob. Oh, I see a rabbit. Maybe that's what was making the footprints on the other page. What do you think? Are they going to see anything cool? Pete and his dad go fishing. They must be very quiet and very still to catch a fish. Let's all say shh so we can make sure they're quiet. You can see them using their fishing poles. Have you ever been fishing with your family? I have. Fishing takes a long time. They finally catch some fish. Oh yay, look. Do you think they're going to throw it back in the water or are they going to eat it for dinner? Let's see. Mom builds a fire. She cooks the fish for dinner. It tastes yummy. Fish is an example of something you can cook on a fire. And if you guessed that they were going to eat it, you were right, good job. Next, Pete toasts marshmallows. Pete makes s'mores with chocolate and graham crackers. There's everybody making s'mores, roasting marshmallows. This reminds me of the slime that we made with marshmallow fluff. What's your favorite part of a s'more? Do you like the marshmallows, the graham crackers, or the chocolate? My favorite part is roasting the marshmallows. It starts to get dark out. Bob tells Pete a story about a scary, hairy giant. The giant lives in the woods. His name is Bigfoot. Oh, what do you think about Bigfoot? That sounds scary to me. Do you think Bigfoot lives here? Asks Pete. Hmm, what do you think? Does he live in the woods? No one has ever seen Bigfoot, says Bob. 
Don't let Bob scare you, says Dad. Bigfoot is not real, Mom says. Pete sighs with relief. Oh, phew! But if he is real, I bet he's friendly, says Dad. And likes s'mores, too. That's not scary, thinks Pete. Maybe he wants a s'more. Pete leaves one for his hairy friend. Hmm, that kind of reminds me, if you celebrate Christmas and you leave cookies for Santa, Pete is leaving a s'more for Bigfoot. What do you think is going to happen? Soon, it's time for bed. Lights out, boys, Dad says. Bob and Pete share a tent. Pete gets into his sleeping bag. It is cozy, but he cannot sleep. Hmm, why do you think Pete can't sleep? The woods seem extra dark, and all the sounds seem extra loud at night. Oh, Pete's a little bit scared. Pete hears a weird swooshing sound. Whoosh, whoosh. What is that? He asks Bob. That's just the wind, says Bob. We can see Pete's ears are down. That tells us that he's scared. Pete hears an odd chirping noise. Chirp, chirp, chirp. What is that? He asks out loud. Those are just the crickets. Oh, have you ever been able to hear crickets at night? They are noisy sometimes. Pete hears a strange hooting sound. Hoo, hoo, hoo. What is that? He wonders. That's just an owl. Pete thinks of his friend Owl. Pete hears a loud snapping noise. Crack! What is that? He wonders. But Bob is already fast asleep. Hmm, do you think you would be awake like Pete? Or asleep like Bob? if you heard all of those noises. I think I would be kept awake. Pete listens carefully. Crack! Is it Bigfoot? Pete peeks outside. It is too dark to see anything. What do you think? Is it Bigfoot? Let's see. When Pete wakes up, he checks the spot where he left the s'more for Bigfoot. <gasps> the s'more is gone! But what do you see on the table? It looks like a note. Hmm. There is a note. It says, thanks for the treat, XOXO. And look, there's a big footprint on the note. Pete shows his family. Wow, I knew Bigfoot was real, says Bob. Pete knows Bigfoot is not scary. Just because he looks different does not mean he is scary. He even likes s'mores too. And here we can see the eyes again in the bushes. So we know that's Bigfoot, I think. That's my prediction. All right, that's the end of the story, guys. I hope you enjoyed exploring with Pete the Cat and realizing that even if you're different from somebody else, you can still find things in common. Bigfoot is different from Pete, but he still likes s'mores, just like Pete does. All right, guys, I will see you for the next Read Aloud. Bye.